Hello everybody and welcome back to the J72 Gaming Channel. My name is Jacob and you can just call me Jay here. And today we are finally testing the diet system. They just released the diets in a stress test form and so far we can only play the Drassaurus. They're going to be kind of releasing these dinosaurs over time for us to try. Um, but I'm wondering if there's a map change and they have said that there are AI Utahs and Tenontosauruses. So we still have to kind of worry about what's going on but let's go ahead let's see if i'm gonna be a dryo yeah maybe maybe kind of hanging out over here in the uh, in the west will be good let's go ahead and spawn to the north and see what this is about okay guys so here we are spawned in you can already tell there is something new in the bottom right there looks like a, a red blue and yellow from my experience with some other survival games those are very likely to be different types of nutrients probably carbs proteins and i don't know what the blue could be maybe that's I don't know, something else. The frames are running a little little meh, I won't lie, but um, this is pretty much a stress test on a, an optimal server, so that is kind of to be expected. Let's go ahead and hit our insert key. Let's see if anything has changed here. Okay, so status report actually says some stuff over here, which is cool. Diet improving. All of these are increased. Now, they did say that when you are following your diets and doing it correctly, you're going to grow faster. And if you're not following it correctly, you're going to grow uh, slower, basically. So I'm going to assume all of these will also be decreased if I don't properly do the diet. Um, but let's go ahead and give a sniff because I think they were saying the sniff is kind of the way to see proper food. And I am seeing nothing. Oh, check that out. The, the scent trail is white now for like tracking footprints Ooh, there's there's something is this the food we want or is this just normal food let's go explore Ooh, what was that sound that was new there are new audios coming in the game um with update four as well as a lot of new uh map changes most likely where did that go over here is that close or far? It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, it looks like it's a little bit off. A little bit of a ways. All right, let's go over there and see what uh, what it is. Okay, I have approached what looks to be a box. Why would there be a box out here? That's interesting. Let's see what this is going on. This is, okay, it's a testing item. Let's see. Radish root. Can I eat the box, the radish root? <laughs> I can. Let's see. Find the right angle. Okay. So, obviously, this isn't what it's going to look like when the actual update comes out. Um, but it looks like I'm eating all right. Again, I'm not sure where it tells me what we need. Maybe we can look a little bit deeper here. Oh, <laughs> it was right next to where, uh, where I was talking earlier. Okay, so preferred food. So it's looking like we need oranges, which are in the jungles and the plains. We need agave, which is in the arid plains. And we need sun-choked roots, which is located in the plains as well. So we actually don't need radish root. That is something not for the dryo. So let's go ahead and we munched on it a little, which is okay. You can eat stuff that's not in your diet. Um, but the more you eat stuff from your diet, the better you will grow. And the faster you will be and the stronger and all that stuff. It's like real life, right? You got you to gotta eat well. Uh, if you have a bunch of, you know, radish root or a bunch of cheeseburgers that you're not really supposed to eat a bunch of, it's not going to be as good for you. Now, I also hope that this doesn't look too bad uh, for you guys as far as, like, uh, graphics go. I did check out here, went to settings. Because it is a the stress test, they have seemed to have forced a few things here. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of forced to have high textures and all that stuff. Uh, it says I might be able to change some of the graphics in the setting, but it took me a long time to try to get one of these, um, 75, uh, slots in the server. Um, so yeah, I'm not really trying to go back to that grind. If I'm honest, it took me a good, like 20 minutes. Um, it's popular. Everyone's trying to hop on and test this, which is good. I hope they get good feedback and I would love to spend some time here, uh, and test it. So let's go ahead and see. I saw some uh, some more smells over here. I can't tell so far if the map is different. Um, that's north. If we can get out, if we keep going south, I think that's... That might be Jugger Mountain. That might be... 
Might be one in the far distance. Jugger might be actually be over there. If I can get back out to a clearing, um, I know the map well enough that I can kind of locate it, uh, look where I am, and, and kind of see what's going on. See if they've added any changes. Um, but they might have just added, like, some vegetation changes. Not sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and, uh, here it is. Another box. Oh, there's a box right here, too. More radish root. I don't want that. Get that out of here. Nobody wants your radish root. What is this? More radish root? More radish root! Get out of here! <laughs> Where's my agave? Let's go ahead and actually, uh, let's plan this out. So, in the plains, we can kind of find all of these, which is kind of cool. Uh, um, but it looks like if I head into the jungle, I can look for the oranges. And if I head out into the arid areas, which I guess would just be, like, the open plains. But maybe not, because this is this only has place. I'm not really sure where the arid areas would be. Um, we haven't really had, like, a dry-looking area of the map before um so yeah that's very likely to come into just one of their map changes all right i found two more radish root let's go ahead and actually just eat this um because i am noticing my hunger is dropping pretty quick and those nutrients are also dropping so i want to know if i eat a lot of this uh <laughs> this box here if one of those colors goes up so let's go ahead and take a closer look here doesn't quite seem like, one of them is going up over the other. Obviously, my food is going up. That seems to be the only thing happening. That's all right. Let's fill up on this radish root for now. We'll see what that does to our diets. If it's bad, that's fine. We can we can learn how bad radish root is to munch on. Okay, so after eating that, doesn't quite look like any of these went up. I can't hover over them, and they are going down. They say 19%, so that's concerning because i don't know how to fix that <laughs> um, but everything still says diet improving so yeah not sure maybe maybe those only go up if i eat oh you know what those might each correlate to one of these foods like the orange might be maybe the orange the agave might be blue and the the sunchoke roots might be red I'm not sure um but let's keep going until i find one of those and uh, I gotta keep my eyes open for these Utahs, because while they're not players, there are AI Utahs and Tanoctosauruses, like I mentioned. And if I'm honest, um, they're, those are kind of scarier than real players. If I bump into them and they just charge me, um, like a player, you might be able to outsmart, right? You can kind of hide behind bush or whatever and stay hidden. Like, if you, you can't see your character, then the other player can't see your character. Um, but AIs don't really care. AIs can track you just because they're part of the, they're part of the AI system, so they they know what's up. Um, this map is also feeling a little bit different to me just from just from experience. Let's uh, let's give a sniff here. I want to keep heading south. Yeah, there's north. Oh, okay, so we're by the ocean, perhaps. Mm, okay, there's more food boxes. Yeah, let's keep heading this way, and we'll see if we can find any um, milestones and, uh, and kind of markers that we know about so we can tell where we are. Oh, take a look at this one. This one's a little bit higher up. So this is supposed to represent kind of like a small tree, perhaps. Let's see. There's a lot going on here. There's a box down there and up top. So this is a coconut tree. Oh, okay. And is this perhaps like a coconut that has fallen? Okay, we're going to go ahead and eat this just to test again. See what coconut does to any of our nutrients. Uh, brings my food up, obviously. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. I just heard footsteps, too. i got to be careful. <laughs> uh, let's check the old status report. Everything seems to be the same. Keep says, has still saying increased over there. Okay. Well, that's very cool. Coconut tree, um, I like the idea that they want to bring in some height variation to it. Um, so, like, you know, if if coconuts are up there, but only one's on the floor, maybe, you know, a dryo could eat the one on the floor, but a dryo can't knock down the other ones up there. Um, but, you know, it's an Otsosaurus or a Stego standing up on their hind legs might might actually be able to reach that. And, and of course, the Maggie when that comes out, some of the other taller herbivores as well. Okay, well, I'm still quite lost. <laughs> um, so let's continue to head just due south. Let's just beeline it south. Um, good thing about spawning in the north, if you beeline it south, you will hit a river. It is pretty much impossible to miss one, so let's go find one. And I just heard a Tenazosaurus. Let's go see if we can, uh, we can find one. 
Okay, I just messed with the settings just a little bit better. I think this looks much better and much smoother. I had all the anti-aliasing all jacked up and it was all crazy. Um, but looks like we found another coconut tree here. So let's just go ahead and hop that coconut and <laughs> keep on going. I was keeping my eye out for that Tenanto. Um, I keep hearing it, but I can't find it. It's pretty much here. There's so much more ambient noises. Um, crank up the volume if you can't hear. Um, it, it's it's just loud now. There's birds. There's what sounds like monkeys, but um, I'm sure it's simulated dinosaur sounds. And yeah, it's just it's just a loud loud environment going on. Okay, so it's a mountain over there. If that is yeah, that's north. Hmm. There's a mountain in the northeast. Very interesting. Or sorry, northwest. That's interesting. That could be Old Spire Hill. But I didn't I don't think I'm that far east. I don't know. I'm very I'm very all turned around because I know this map very well. Um as you guys know I've made plenty of videos covering the map and flying around as Pteranodon of this map is my favorite way to play this game currently. Um so it's kind of it's weird to kind of be lost for me, you know what I mean? It's uh it's jarring in a way. Oh, another Dryo! A fully grown Dryo, because I am I am tiny. Uh, I do actually have to be careful, because since the only playable character right now is a Dryosaurus, we're all here to test the diets, sure. But I can see I can see some players just being aggressive just because it's the aisle. <laughs> and, uh, ooh, that was a Utah. Let's go away from the Utah. Don't want anything to do with that. No, thank you. Uh, towards the end of the episode, though, once I've kind of discovered a few things, if, if we kind of hear a, a Utah, I might go check it out and see what the AI is all about. Because um, the AI and the diet systems are really the two two new additions here that uh, I want to I want to check out. Hello, can you hear me? God, there's sounds everywhere, guys. But I am going to believe that the Dryos are probably players. <laughs> There's 75 players in here, and we're all Dryos, so... Oh, there's a Dryo. Oh, there's a bunch of Dryos. Let's go say hi. Hello, friends. Hey, dudes. This guy says, uh, the Utah nearly got him. Yeah, I'll join your group. Sure. Norse Horse, Conan, and Ake. <laughs> so I'm going to say your name from now on. Ake. All right. What's up, friends? These guys are all fully grown already, which, to be honest, isn't going to take me much longer. I'm almost halfway, and I just started. Let's see. Uh, let's see if they can tell us any information. How aggressive are those AI Utahs? I see what they say. We need to leave this area. Yeah, that sounds pretty aggressive. <laughs> Especially if I'm the smallest one. Very. Yeah, I, I can believe that. I don't want. I kind of want to see the Utah. If I'm honest. Maybe we'll mob with these guys for a while, and they can uh, they can show us some things. Although I do I do really want to check out the map, and kind of kind of see what's going on. So you know what, maybe. We're going to continue our journey. Um, boars? Whoa. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to go continue to explore. Later, dudes. Good luck. Have fun. They go by. Okay. My ache. <laughs> All right, let's head out and um, continue south. Cause I got a little turned around there with them. Let's see where is south. South, 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 south. It is yep. My internal compass was right. Let's keep heading this way and uh, see what we can see. Ah, there's some water coming up. Perfect. Okay, but yeah, let's keep our head on a swivel because that Utah was close. But I didn't know they were gonna include boars already. Let's kind of take it slow here in the jungle and see. See what's going on. Um, oh, that is a Tenatosaurus. And, yep, they're aggressive. Run! Bail! Bail, 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 bail. I'm gonna assume... 
can just outrun him. Yeah, he's he didn't track me very easily. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, that Tenatosaurus was immediately aggressive. I don't know why the Tenatosaurus would be so aggressive. Like, they shouldn't be super aggressive to the to uh, little Dryos here, unless I was like really messing with them. And I'm dead. Oh, I'm so dead. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> I've given so many people shit in the past for not watching where they're going and when they complained about that. And here I am on camera diving off cliffs. That's funny. Okay, well we were we were literally right here. I know exactly where we were. So the map does seem to be relatively the same. Let's spawn in the southeast here and uh try this again. Uh because we'll be in the swamp now, and there might be different types of food out in this direction. Man, I can't believe I just did that. That's so funny. What a dumb move. Alright, well, here we are. Small again. <laughs> I think that, I'm going to blame that Tenatosaurus for that one. Okay, well, now we're deep in the jungle of the south instead of the forest of the north. So let's see if we can get a bearing on any food over here. Because there should be the oranges, I think it was saying. Let's go ahead and double check that. Yeah, the oranges here are in the jungle, so... Hopefully we can bump into one and see what that looks like. Hopefully it's not a box, right? Um, does have me a little concerned if, uh, you know, for this test, they don't even have the icons for the box. Uh, sorry, if, uh, the icons instead of the box, right? They have the box. Um, it's surprising to me that they wouldn't have their fruits and vegetables already kind of um, out on display for us, but uh, it is what it is. I panicked there for a second because I thought I heard something. Again, it's just it's just loud, guys. I I always play this game with surround sound headsets on, and um, it makes it way more immersive to play. I cannot play this game uh, one with the lights on and two um, with out headphones on because the <clears throat> it's so dark in the game that you really need to kind of be able to see. So I always make sure my room is at least like dim, um, maybe not pitch black, but at least dim, and uh, I definitely gotta have the surround sound on because if you can't tell what direction the sounds are coming from, you're just doing yourself a disservice when it comes to this game. It's gonna be much harder for you to survive, um, maybe stealthy and hunt too. Like you gotta be able to kind of you know you gotta be like an, a real life animal and kind of listen and be very aware of your surroundings. Uh, and the audio for this game is top notch as far as directional based. Like you can really tell what direction something is when you hear it, and it's it's fantastic and really does help um, add to the immersion of the game. Okay, look at that smell. Bunch of down corpses by the water. We're getting close to the swamp. Swamp's pretty much completely to my to my right there. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look. I'm wondering if this is some killed players. Maybe from some Utahs. Yeah, let's kind of approach carefully here and uh, see what we can find. Okay, we're coming across some water here. Oh, that awkwardly is cutting in and out as I just praise the audio of the game. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Okay, oh, I know where we are. Yeah, okay, this is that one rock feature. Uh, at the, uh, at the entrance of the swamp. Okay. Although, wait, hold on. This actually makes, looks a little bit different than what I'm used to. Let's see if we can get up here. This might be a change. Or is this just... Nope. Yeah, okay, never mind. Oh, poor little Dryo. Took a, took a plummet like I did. <laughs> okay, so... Interesting. Let's go. Let's go take a look at some more food because we we really want to find uh, and test all the food today, as well as avoiding the uh, the AIs. Let's go ahead and give an alley oop. <laughs> Don't have to worry about any Dino Sucuses today. Safest water crossing I've had in the aisle in months. <laughs> Although I wouldn't put it against a, an AI uh, Utah hanging out in the water. It's <laughs> just kind of roaming around. Okay, let's see what this uh, this one is here. And let's see if it's probably more roots, I would assume, if we're out in the plains, but it could be one of the other foods we need. Okay, look, we did find something different. Wild potato vine. So this is still not something I need, but in the sake of testing, we're going to dig in. Uh, plus, my guy could use some, some food, so... We'll get him all all filled up. Um, I still want to test. I wish I could move my mouse to see those percentages before I eat, but 
I still want to test these numbers. So they're at 30% altogether. I want to know how that goes up or down. Um, but we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and dig it. Uh-oh. I thought I was I was stuck for a second. I am nervous about game breaking bugs when eating these new plants, you know, getting getting frozen or or stuck eating it or something like that. Now, all things we need to test, of course. All right, all filled up. Enough of the potato. Let's go ahead and give another sniff and uh, locate something else here. Okay, well, there are a few more food drops over here in the jungle. So let's go ahead. I, I'm st I just want to find one of these foods that is actually on my list to see if those, uh, those you know, colored little circles over there uh, go up. Or I guess they're not circles, they're hexagons, but you know what I meant. Oh, I walked past one. Very close. What are you? More wild potatoes. Okay. Don't need any wild potatoes. Let's go check out this one. And another wild potato vine. I'm wondering if these um, these red words are going to be a permanent factor of the game, or if they're only there for testing. I would actually like for that to not be there, um, because since this game is so revolved around realism and kind of, you know, learning your animal or whatnot, um, but that does bring up the concern of how do you teach players what to eat and what not to eat and what everything is. Um, so maybe they could have, like, a tutorial in the game or something that you can play before diving into the actual servers, but I would love for those... that floating text to not actually be there once everybody kind of understands what it is um so i'm just gonna hope that that's there before for the stress uh for the stress test and uh not actually permanent but we'll see all right but back on the roulette wheel of uh testing all of these spots and uh <laughs> seeing if one is something we want to eat man another wild potato vine they are really popular out here in the swamps or rather the jungles outside the swamp so also wondering if that has anything to do with the uh the range of what things can can grow like whether or not it's like a jungle by the swamps or a jungle by the plains or something or these arid regions which again i'm not really sure what they would consider arid in the current map um unless they're going to be giving us more of the map <laughs> i guess that is something i could test today I could, I could run south and see uh see if the border has has broadened but i'm gonna ex gonna expect it not to uh, most of this testing i'm going to do guys as far as the channel goes when the actual update goes live and i can update my server which allows me to fly around in spectate mode or a pteranodon once we get a pteranodon it will it will go uh very far for me to be able to explore and kind of give you guys the information you need to know about the uh the changes to the overall map i'm gonna go ahead and fill up on water i hear some splashing which brought me over here i'm wondering if it's just one of the fish uh, or maybe it's, like I was saying, one of those AIs kind of wandering and getting caught in the water. Um, let's go ahead and cross here. Just to kind of, just to kind of see what's going on. I won't be able to see underwater, right? Because it's super muddy. Um, and it's usually harder to see for non-aquatic dinosaurs. But we seem alright. Nothing, nothing jumped out. <laughs> no, uh... No aquatic Utahs grabbing me today. All right, let's continue. Continue the journey and continue the hunt for the food we need. All right, maybe we try something different. Maybe we hang out here in the plains and see if we can find uh, one of those. Ah, this one's green. Aha. Okay. That surely that means. It's food that I actually want, and yellow is just food that I can eat. I like that. If the, if that is correct, that is that is cool, because it lets you know, like, okay, I could go over there and eat it if I had to, but there's something that smells real good for me over in this direction. Did I find it? I think I did. Sunchoke root. And this one actually has, let's zoom in here. It has kind of a model. Not really. It's kind of like a, <laughs> a model of some sort. But let's go ahead and eat this and see what happens. 
I'm going to hope that my nutrients in the bottom right go up. And yes, there they go. Okay, so one of the... Okay, so I'm going to assume that all three of these nutrients correlate to one of the three types of plants that I can eat in my preferred diet. And thus, you want those to go up. So let's go ahead and... Once I round this off, one more bite for you, buddy. There we go. Let's go ahead and hit insert again. And... Nothing's changed right here. This still says diet improving and increased, but I wonder if that would have changed if I let these all hit zero. Uh, but now I have this up at 96 and those are over at three. And so that was, yeah, that was my third one. So I'm wondering if the top one is the orange and the left one is perhaps the agave. Not sure. Um, but yeah, Sunchoke is in open plains only. So that was good for me to come out here. And yeah, now let's go looking for the orange and the agave. But again, I'm not sure where to head for dry land um hmm it's curious i am currently i think i'm over in the east of the swamps uh let me look around uh no i'm not that is the that is mount jugger over there Ooh, another green one let's go check that out after this but this is actually i know where i am i'll show it on the map here i'm actually in the southeast i am west of the swamp but let's go ahead and uh check out this Check out this other green one. Hopefully this is not the same one we need. Obviously my guy's not hungry, but let's go. Let's check this out. Is that more? Oh, God. oh shoot. You scared the crap out of me, Mr. Dryo. Holy crap. I thought you were Utah. Uh, he probably just ate what I just ate. Oh, nope. It's over here. I see the floating text. <laughs> and that is more. Yep. Sunchoke root. Okay, cool. So Sunchoke root is out in the out in the fields. And it seems to be pretty high up. Um, in fact, you can see a confirm. I know where I am. Uh, there is the rock temple way off in the way off in the distance. Uh, but we, where should we go? Let's see. So the swamp's over there. We know this is a big open field. I'm wondering what they considered arid. Maybe, maybe let's go check out the open middle of the plains. Um, that would be, I guess, the most arid place I could think of on the current map. Um, if not in the canyon could be in the canyon um but the canyon's more of just like a like a a road almost i mean i guess it's natural humans didn't make the canyon but uh there's a road that goes through there so it's not necessarily arid as much as it is just kind of a rocky area in the jungle not sure another coconut tree <laughs> it looks so weird seeing like all these test boxes in the game like, I'm so used to this gaming so immersive and just having, like, an immersion-breaking thing is just kind of odd. I mean, I know we're here for uh, different reasons. Like, I'm not here to have, like, an immersive experience as this trio. I'm here to test. I'm here to show you guys the, the new stuff with the, the diets. But it's still a little weird. It's a little jarring for sure. Okay, so here we are in kind of the middle of the fields. Um, I'm looking over in this direction over on Mount Jugger. You can actually see the radio tower up over there. And it's looking to me way different than it used to be. Um, so perhaps they took some trees and actually made that a little bit more arid, uh, or perhaps I just can't load in the trees yet because I'm not close enough. Um, unsure. Oh, what is that over there? I saw, I saw either Utah or Dryo out of the corner of my eye for just a second, but we should be good. Let's go ahead and give a sniff. See if we can find one of those, uh, agaves that we need. So, plants I can eat but don't want. Aha! Here is something I do want. Let's head off over here. Uh, that is Tenatosaurus. Which we need to stay away from. They they definitely took some trees away. Um, this is definitely arid. For sure. I'm so, I'm so curious. I really just want to take to the skies that's stranded on and, and check that out. Oh, there's another Dryo. Probably running for the same thing I'm running for. Hello, buddy. Yo. All right, can I share some food with you, bro? I wouldn't mind a bite of uh, some stone choke root. I gotta get the right angle for the hitbox. There we go. Man, are they not here anymore? That wasn't him. <laughs> some other Dryo nearby. We got a mute Dryo. That's okay. Here's here's more Dryos. Hello, friends. Uh, I'm gonna ask them if they found the other stuff. Yeah. Hey dudes, have you found any 
agave or orange shit. Let's see if they respond. Everyone's just out here munching on the sun choked roots. I have found agave, yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> no more information than that, just, just yes, confirmed. Neat. What do you think they consider... Arid environments? Do they remove some areas that used to be trees? And goes, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we're all we're all testing it. And obviously they've only had like an hour of, of time to, to test it. Okay, well, I am going to continue off in this direction, I think. Um, you guys see that line? I'm wondering what that line's all about. If that might be a graphical glitch or if that's the new border for the test. Not sure. It almost looked like a packy to me for a second. What up, buddy? Yeah, we're going to head off over this way. I'm actually totally down if they remove some trees and have a more arid area. Oh, that's a Tenato. Let's avoid that. Yeah, no thank you on the Tenno. Keep my distance and they should be no problem at all. I am wondering the aggro range on that guy. Um, I got pretty close to the one in the forest, though, so it can't be too, too, uh, too close. Ah, what is this? Another flower. This one actually has its model in. Okay. Sunchoke flower. Okay. Some nice little, uh, little dandelions almost. Nice. Not for me, though. In fact, let's confirm. Is that, is that gonna be yellow for me? That is indeed yellow for me. Okay, cool. Oh, but we got some kills up here and some more green. A lot more green. Okay, some, something's going on up here. Definitely a lot going on out here. Dryo's running around. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, guys, look at Mount Sugar. Whoa! There's a bunch of changes over in this direction. What are all those rocks? Yo! The mod Isle devs, give me Pteranodon! I want to take to the skies! <laughs> so hard to explore from the perspective of this little guy. Okay, hold on. Let's give another sniff. Let's see what was going on. You can see you can see that white trail of that other dryo. Doesn't stand out as much as the yellow, but I actually do like that that is white. If they've changed uh, yellow to mean you know food that I can eat but don't don't actually want in my diet. Let's see what do we have here? Oh, is this agave? This is this has got to be agave. Agave, we found it. Nice. Okay, and this is going to upgrade one of my other nutrients. Awesome. All right. So so far this has done exactly what I want it to do with the diets. I want there to be a drive for you to go out and eat all the different types of food so that really... Oh, you know what? I'm going to puke. I just realized. If I eat too much of that, I'm going to puke. Um, so yeah, I can't I can't overeat, but I want to eat the right thing. So now we know that's there. That's awesome. We can come back to that if we really need to. Whoa. I know you need to chill, bro. <laughs> But yeah, so it's rudimentary, right? And it's not much, but it does give you a little bit more to do when run running around. What up, bud? Are you gonna fight? Yeah, you are gonna fight. Of course you're gonna fight. See, this is what I told you guys. There's gonna be players here who uh, who just wanna fight. I fight him more, but I'm smaller, so there's no point. Man, hit it. AI or aggro? Oh, maybe it's an AI? I mean, I'm gonna die. I can't outrun it. Cut it out, man. You're just wasting my time. Frustrating. I'm gonna run right to the Tenno. I'd rather fight the Tenno. Whoa, there's water over here? Whoa. That's new. That is very new. Let's go ahead and let's hang out here. What an annoying little... I feel like that was not an AI. That was... That's gotta be a player. Uh, let's go ahead and hang out here by this new watering hole, though, because uh, I need to get my health up. <laughs> and uh, 
Yeah, just kind of hang out, get my stamina up for just a second. How bad did he hurt us? Oh, not that bad at all, actually. Not that bad at all. Okay, I'm not worried. Let's actually stand up and take a look. Nice. This is a fantastic place for them to put new water. Very cool. Whoa, chill. What do I hear? <laughs> Still on edge. I don't want to die because I want to explore the map. Very cool. Utah, bro. It's Utah. Run. Look, these guys are hiding from the Utahs. I am just going to dip. Bye. Oh, shoot. I think it's chasing me. I think it's chasing me. Don't do it, Utah. Oh, there's a Tenno over there, too. Okay, I don't think he's chasing me. There's a bunch of players hiding over on that rock, and I think it's messing with the AIs. I think that's what they were saying in chat there. Utah broken, I think. Mm. Very interesting. What a cool spot. Oh, I'm really glad that they're adding new watering holes, because that makes it so that there's places for the players to kind of hang out. And yeah, this one's pretty tight. Okay, well, this confirms it, guys. There are changes to the map coming in Update 4. I mean, it was very... That's an easy thing to predict, right? Um, but it's very cool to have actual confirmation that there are something new. Um, so I think... I think, yeah, they probably removed some of the trees over here. Let's go check out Pocket Pool, one of the most popular spots on the map, and see what they did to it. If anything. Go check out this beast of a rock. This wasn't exactly there before. Oh, and there's a big cutoff. I'm, I'm kind of around where Turret Rock used to be. Wow, yeah, look at this. So again, this is Turret Rock area. And they've, like, added a bunch of just standing rocks and stuff. It's so cool to see the map changes. Even if it's, like, minor changes here and there. It, it for me, breathes a lot of life into the game. and makes me want to run around and, and explore and see see what's changed. See, see some new cool spots. Because um, mainly for when, once nesting comes out, it'll be really fun to kind of pick some of these areas and, and hang out and hunker down, right? Try to grow a family in there. Uh, I'm looking around for the actual old turret rock, but I think this whole area is just, it's just expanded upon as far as uh, rocks go. What is this? More food? Uh, radish root. Yeah, I don't want radish root. Moving on. Oh, okay. Check it out. I've come across kind of a, a road here. And I think, oh, is that, is that a compi? That was tiny. Could not have been a compi. I'm gonna have to watch that. Back. It was probably just a baby dryo. Because I am a little bit bigger now. I am, yeah, about 70% grown. We'll say I'm, I'm about 72% grown. <laughs> but let's kind of wander in here. This is looking good and atmospheric. Look at that. Nice map changes. Just more stuff on the ground, you know what I mean? More rocks like that right there. That little flower coming, or the, the leaves coming out of the flower. <laughs> what am I saying? Speak right, Jay. English hard. Look at all the plant structures coming out of the rock. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> okay, but this is the river. Ah, hello! Are you AI? No, you're not AI. <laughs> Yo, look at the river. It looks so good. There's a crossing here. Whoa. Let's follow it upstream and see, see what's going on. Because this is Pocket Pool area. Um, so surely Pocket Pool has hung around, right? It's gotta still be here. That's like a staple. People would be very upset if Pocket Pool left, but this alone... Ah, here's a waterfall. Is this... Is this our Pocket Pool? Who has like a... Uh, like a trail aside the... Uh, the river here, the creek, if you will. Okay, drum roll, please. Survey says... Whoa... Survey says they have definitely changed Pocket Pool. Uh, unless this is just a waterfall on the way to Pocket Pool. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Oh, that was a bit laggy. Come on, hop up. Why can't I jump? Server lag, or is it maybe freaking out because that player's there? Why can't I jump? Come on, game. Let me jump. Yeah, it's not letting me... Weird. I'm spamming spacebar right now, guys, and it's not letting me jump. Maybe that's, uh, here, maybe... Maybe that's just a bug. Let me try sitting and fixing that. No, I can't jump. Hmm, okay. A little concerning, for sure. Wow. Beautiful spot, though. I mean, let's just... Here, let's... You know what? I haven't done this yet in the video. Let's go F10 mode. And just take in the surroundings. 
Look at that. All right, amazing. As we get a close-up ass shot of my Dryo. <laughs> Let's look over his shoulder there. Very cool. Very, very cool. Is this guy talking to me? No, he's just, just barking. We'll give him a bark. Uh, I wish I could jump, though, because I wanted to cross the river. Um, but let's... Let's see if I can go around somehow and uh, and get get up there because this is very much a dead end. So let's head back. Whoa, 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 whoa! What did I just see? Oh, it was a <laughs> it was a little dryo, buddy. I thought you were a compy, but you're not a compy. You're just a little dryo. Do the wiggle. Do the wiggle. Do the wiggle. Yeah, wiggle dance. Wiggle dance. <laughs> We'll give you an XD. <laughs> and they're off. I just come across this guy sitting. What up, bruh? Good talk. <laughs> Looks like a lot of people have the same idea as me as, as coming here and checking out uh, the new the new area. Um, let's go ahead. I can either go up around this way or I could cross the river. So let's go ahead and uh, cross the river here. This might even reset my jump, hopefully. It did! Yay! We're free! Okay, and let's follow... Let's follow this up, because... I'm going to soon that this is where we need to go to kind of get up top that waterfall. Because I'm wondering if Pocket Pool still exists, or if, uh... If, yeah, that that's the new Pocket Pool. And when we get up there, we'll probably end the video, guys, because I, uh... I don't want this to drag on too long, even though I could play this and probably will continue playing this for <laughs> a few hours just to test and see. Uh, but uh, this doesn't seem to be very easy to get up there. This is why I need Pteranodon. Okay. All right. Maybe this? Nope. All right. Well, from my previous map knowledge, I know that when they do these hard to reach cliffs, it's usually not an area that you can get up and above. Uh, but maybe I am incorrect. Look at this little nesting spot. Look at that. That. It's like a little crib to me. <laughs> Not too far from the water. You have to escort the, the little ones down the hill, though, for sure. Yeah, I don't know, guys. It keeps going up and up and up and up. So as much as I want to go find out what's on top of that waterfall, I think we're going to have to save that for a time when I actually do have the ability to fly around, either in camera mode or as a pteranodon. So instead of that, let's go uh, uh, go ahead and end the episode by heading the other direction down the river um, over towards where it's usually pteranodon rocks or perch rocks, whichever you call it. Um, and uh, the center of the map, basically the main area of the river where most players hang out. Let's go there and see uh, see what's see what's up. I should also take a second here now that we're kind of deep jungle to see if I can see any green food for us. Uh, there is a whole bunch of stuff over there. Wow, so many corpses! Oh my gosh, look at that color array! Wow. All right, well we're we're actually going towards none of those. We're uh, trying to get down this hill here. Without breaking my leg. And there we go. We are back out into the clearing. All right. So, yeah, this has changed, too. They've done a lot of work on the map. I'm wondering, they were talking about there being a port. Maybe we actually go over here because uh, I talked about this. I think I forget if it was in a comment or what it was. Oh, jeez. Pen allowed. I'm wondering if they're if they have the port added, and if so, I believe it's over here. Whoa, that was some pop. Oh look, there's another there's a new spire rock. Not as tall, not as big. Ah oh, man, there's so much new. Yo, did they change to rent it on rocks? Or is that just the hill kind of on the way? I I don't know! Everything I knew has changed! <laughs> Oh, agave. Let's go ahead and fill up on this. That'll be good. It's another AI, possibly. Yeah, the way he's walking, that seems like AI. Whoa, what was that? You know, I feel like I'm hitting a candy store. I'm like, ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's that? Ooh, it's, ooh some agave, you know? <laughs> like new rocks, new waterfalls. Wow. Very cool. Though. I imagine sitting on that as a pteranodon. I'm excited. Off in the distance. Do you see what I see? It's a gummy! 
Heck yeah. Let's go ahead and munch on this one. Hopefully I can eat this one. Yeah, I can eat this one. Dig in, bro. There's another little Dryo running around. So many Dryo players. I mean, like I said, there's 75 Dryo players out here. All right, now you can see that my nutrients are going up. The, the red one is now full, which is awesome. Uh, and then I wonder if this lets us test. Once I am done eating, I'll hit the insert button. It says my diet is good. Okay, so it has changed. It's not increasing anymore. Uh, and that is probably because I've been on zero for uh, this one, which is the, uh, the orange there. I haven't had the orange ever, so my diet is now good. It's not great. Um, so that, that's a bummer, but, um, I mean, that makes sense. That's what you would want it to say if you were perfectly eating everything. Um, so yeah, let's continue off this way. Uh, past all the other dry up players roaming around, checking out the new stuff. Yo, I see building. This is probably the old building. So let's see if it's new. What did we find? Yo, this is looking new. Oh shit. Yeah, this is looking bigger than it was before. Or am I just crazy? Uh, no, I'm just crazy. <laughs> this is, uh, this is the old warehouse. Um, of course, everything around it has changed. Um, there's a coconut tree for one. Um, so yeah, I could show again where, where we are on the map, um, but a lot has changed around it, and that's interesting. Oh, check this out. <laughs> Whoa, okay. They, uh, <laughs> they may or may not have finished this area. Hmm, something's telling me that it just might need a little bit of work. <laughs> Well, everybody, I think I'm going to end the episode there. Like I said, I could explore for hours and probably will do. Uh, there will definitely be way more videos coming out on this channel about the diet. So if that's something you're interested in and want to know kind of where the diets are and, and all the new changes to the maps and which dinosaurs want to eat what, uh, I will definitely be playing each and every dinosaur in the stress test that they uh, as they bring them out. Because, again, they, they only have dry right now, but they have said that they're going to kind of add them one at a time to see how players react to like you know playing the carno how they how they play pteranodon and stuff like that so keep checking back here if you want to see more of this uh please subscribe to join the sauropod squad would love to see you all uh in the squad we also have a discord if you'd like to join that and be part of uh, the community there we have uh, some great discussions over there so i would love to see you there but yeah guys this has been uh testing out the diets and my initial take is that it's great obviously still needs a lot of work but the override overall idea is very basic right have multiple things in the world that everybody can eat and i only have a few specific ones of those that your dinosaur wants to eat um and so yeah hunting for agave hunting for uh for sun scorched uh flowers or whatever they were called sun scorched uh roots um and and still hunting for that orange still hunting for the orange have not found one yet but uh Maybe you guys can go out there and uh, send me some pictures in that Discord uh, of what the orange looks like. Um, and hopefully it's not like that coconut tree over there. and just a giant green box. <laughs> all right, dudes. So that's it for me. Hope you all have a good rest of your day, be it morning, afternoon, evening, or night. But until then, I've been Jay, and I hope you guys have a great day. Peace out.